if you've been paying attention to the news over the past few months, you're probably aware that Urban Outfitters has been effing up lately. Urban Outfitters is like the Kim Kardashian of the clothing industry. You need to get your act together, and I think you might be doing it on purpose. I'm William Haynes, and you're watching SourceFed. I feel bad for saying that because I go into Urban Outfitters all the time, and I never get anything because I feel like 50% of the things there I like are too expensive, and 25% are for hipster dudes that can grow better mustaches than me, and the other 25% of the things are meant to be offensive to somebody. You may recall when back in September they apologized for making a shirt that appeared to reference the Kent State shooting 1970 because it was a sweater that appeared to have blood on it but was apparently meant to be rust, and the sweater also said Kent State on it. I have to put quotations there because you know what they say about people who assume things, they're right sometimes too. The most recent clothing catastrophe aimed at Urban is that they've had to ban the dreaded thigh gap. The UK's Advertising Standards Authority, also known as the ASA, has forced Urban to remove a photo of a model with a thigh gap from its website stating that it's irresponsible and harmful. After the photo was removed, they replaced the image with another one with substantially less thigh gap. Hey, uh, sorry, quick question. You guys just have undie photos on deck that you can replace them at any point that quick? The 12 year old me would have loved to find the Urban Outfitters hard drive in the back of the dumpster bushes I used to play in alone, but that's besides the point. Joe Swenson, the Minister for Women and Equality said that the decision encouraged positive body image. Urban claimed that they didn't believe the image was a problem, stating it was a common practice to use slim models in the underwear industry, and they also did not consider that the model was underweight or unhealthily thin. You can always say you didn't consider something when you did something wrong, that way it doesn't seem like you did it on purpose. I'm not gonna say whether the decision is good or bad, but I will say that there are so many different types of people in the world. Some are big, some are small, depends on your perspective. It's difficult to say whether or not one is good or bad, but Urban, I will say, will never be as bad as American Apparel. You'd have to make like 10 million more mistakes and they'd have to all be perverted. My solution to this debacle is to stop using models and to stop using mannequins because they have the potential to misconstrue ideas. We should use a more universally understood resource. Yes, that's right, lamps. Come on, work it, lamp, work it, yes. Work it, work it, all right, you're a lion. No, you're a tiger. No, you're a big old stadium light source. Work it. So what do you guys think? Do you think this decision supports a more fair image of humanity? Are you creeped out by mannequins as much as I am because you saw that one episode of Doctor Who years ago? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm William Haynes.